case I wanted to maybe take them out of the recipe. And then for the asparagus, eyeball it. I don't follow the recipe exactly to the T just because with vegetables you can always, oopsie daisy, dropping all of them out. But with vegetables you could always just take them out, add some more in, and it's never bad to add more vegetables than not. So you're going to want to let this saute for about three to four minutes depending on how soft you like your asparagus. It's my asparagus are a little uh, thick. I think I'm gonna saute them a little bit longer. So that way they're nice and have a crunch when we're eating them and they're not too soggy and they're not too raw. I'm also gonna add in some salt. Cha 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 cha. This is sea salt. And I'm gonna add in some papaya seeds. Again, I like to use papaya seeds because pepper just tends to give me heartburn, you know? So if you're living that heartburn life like me, feel free to try out some um, papaya seeds and see if you like them. So you want to make sure you get this like green vibrant color with your asparagus. That's the color you're looking for. Now it's asking us to make the pasta. This pasta asks for eight cups of water, which I have here. I would put in some salt um, to kind of get the water boiling. I'm sure it helps if I turn on the water. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have it boil and then I'm going to stir the pasta in when it starts to boil. And then this pasta cooks really quickly. So it asks for about seven to nine minutes. I normally do exactly nine minutes and then I take it off because then it gets too soft. So if you wanna use this pasta, I would probably suggest you um, checking like at eight minutes just to be sure.